Avian Medical is building next generation devices to lift the burden of heart failure. Patients are in and out of the hospital multiple times every year with this heart condition where their muscle of the heart is weakening. And one of the things we learned is that the reason they're so sick is that they have a buildup of pressure in their heart. And we thought that if we could relieve that pressure, we could improve those patient's symptoms, keep them out of the hospital, and improve their quality of life. We came up with a totally revolutionary medical device. We bring that device up into the heart and we can create a pressure relief channel and basically reduce this pressure that's causing all of these symptoms. Hi everyone. My name is Jacob Kriegel. I'm a cardiothoracic surgery fellow and CEO of Alleviant Medical, where our mission is to lift the burden of heart failure. We're a team of engineers, clinicians, and entrepreneurs who are brought together as part of this year's Biodesign Fellowship, and our focus is on developing a novel, minimally invasive medical device to treat heart failure. So what is heart failure? So patients with heart failure have a weakening of their heart muscle, whose job is to pump blood throughout the body. And as that pump begins to fail, pressure builds up inside the heart in the left atrium. And as that left atrial pressure rises, it backs up into the lungs and causes fluid to accumulate there, leading to severe shortness of breath and multiple hospitalizations every year. And it's a huge problem. It affects over 6 million patients in the US, accounts for a $35 billion healthcare expenditure, and over 1 million hospitalizations every year. And as our population ages, these numbers are all growing rapidly. And right now, we try to treat this condition using medications that have been around since the 1960s, called diuretics, or water pills, that try to lower this amount of fluid. But in many cases, these drugs are totally ineffective at relieving symptoms. And we think the key to this disease is actually this elevated left atrial pressure, that this is the key driver of the symptoms for this condition. And our technology targets this as a new therapeutic target. Our technology creates a pressure relief shunt from the high pressure left atrium into the low pressure right atrium that sits just next door. And by sending a small portion of blood from the left to the right side, we lower this pressure, improving symptoms, improving quality of life, and keeping patients out of the hospital. And this is how it works. We come in through a four millimeter puncture in the groin up into the heart, where an expandable metal blade is deployed and is used to create a precise connection that joins the left and the right atrium. The tissue is removed, packed down, and the entire system is snaked out of the body. Nothing is left behind, and we have immediate left atrial decompression with tremendous clinical benefit. And we've learned that we're actually fast followers in this novel space. Two companies are developing implantable metal stents that are left behind in the walls of the heart and lower this pressure by creating a passageway from the left to the right atrium. But implantable devices have very high clinical risk. They require patients to take blood thinning medications because there's a risk of clot formation. And from a regulatory standpoint, these are class three devices that require PMA approval. In contrast, we leave nothing behind in the body and achieve the same physiological benefit without an implant. We have a far lower clinical risk profile and are eligible as a class two device for the 510K pathway. These companies have begun publishing their early clinical data. And at one year, the results are extremely impressive at relieving symptoms and improving patients' condition. And they've attracted significant investment by some of the major cardiovascular device players so really highlighting the growing interest in this space. We estimate this device is eligible for 500,000 patients every year in the US and the EU, assuming 23% are eligible. We plan to price the device at $10,000, and hospitals that perform this procedure will be reimbursed under an existing code at $30,000. This is gonna save the system tremendous amounts of money, revenue generations for hospital and providers, as well as a high gross margin on the device, all while accessing a $5 billion total addressable market. We have a fantastic team of advisors from here within the TMC community and outside on the clinical, IP, regulatory, and reimbursement. And we have a great, great team working tirelessly on this. Collectively, we have over 30 years of experience bringing cardiovascular devices from concept through prototyping and development to market. We've been around for about four months as an official company. We've got a tremendous amount of traction. We've won a bunch of competitions and have been accepted to a number of accelerators. And so we're really making a lot of progress moving the company forward. We have our functional prototype in hand. We have our first animal studies planned in the next couple weeks. We're raising a $1.5 million seed round to finalize our device design, uh, and we're looking for manufacturing partners to help us. 
In summary, we're going after a large and growing unmet clinical need. We have a novel technology with mounting clinical evidence behind it. Our solution is economically attractive for all of the key stakeholders, and most importantly, we think we can improve the lives of millions of patients suffering from this disease. So we are alleviant, and we are lifting the burden of heart failure. Thank you. Do we gonna fall? Do we let it pop?